sound like that. Maybe. Can that work? Maybe. Uh. Yeah, that's actually really good. We out here in Riverside. Woohoo! We're playing at this massive venue. It's huge. It'll be the first time trying my Walrus Audio ACS-1. Gonna run a Marshall 412 cab and a Box AC-30 down a good blue speaker. For those of you who speak guitar, and uh, we're gonna see how it does and how it holds its own in a live setting. Seen it, so. <laughs> in post, I apologize if the audio sucks. And 
and if it doesn't, you're welcome. You're Shout welcome. out to Anissa for Yay. being my camera girl. And if it's shaky, I'm sorry. No, it's, it's, it's Hopefully it's not. All good. Got a little blurred. <laughs> Yay. Off to round two now, and uh, this is the church that does not like the volume of any of my amps, so I think they'll be really stoked that I'm gonna go direct today. <clears throat> and if they're not, I give up. <laughs> Definitely not gonna be able to get good audio. They're not equipped to record anything. So we'll just uh, hang tight, and we will see how it sounds. I will. I will give you the rundown. All right. Okay, so like the smallest church I played at, for whatever reason, had the best in-ear mix. And um, yeah, the wall sounded about the same as what it does here. Then he EQ'd it and then it didn't sound as good anymore. But it did, but it started sounding really good. It's not on in the house, no one cares. But I will say I was very pleasantly surprised. My pedals and my patches sounded really, really good. And uh, yeah, and all the band was like, oh, whoa, that sounds dope. So yeah, I think I, think I might keep it. I think I'm gonna keep this thing. I'm one of them now. The anti-ampers. I never thought I'd see the day. You without an amp. Me neither. I just need to get like a sick gig that lets me bring an amp so I don't <laughs> have to become this. Although in truth, like the sicker the gig, the more likely it is that they're gonna tell you you can't bring your amp. <laughs> We're making a modified photon fizzle. It's supposed to look like this. But we didn't we didn't get boba. And we're not gonna seep the boba, so probably won't be as cool. But we're gonna blend it and make it an icy drink, right? Yes, we are making ice blended drinks because it is 90 degrees, it's super hot already. All right, let us begin. We're gonna do a quarter cup of water. We're making the slug syrup. That looks dope. <laughs> it's already looking good. Quarter cup sugar. Yes. All these band-aids are from cooking. <laughs> no, they're not. Mine too. How did that lady do it? She made it look so easy. Uh, just careful, don't cut yourself. You know what they should have? What? Triple A for like emergencies, but not like an ambulance. I think it's called 911. No. <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? Oh, emergency. smell it. You smell it? Oh, yeah. Woo! Your pack's a freaking punch, so like a little goes a really long way. Isn't this way. the thing that's in all those shots? Like yeah, those like things. the things that are like, they're so good for you, yeah. I always thought ginger was pink because it's always pink in those little things, the Asian oh, restaurants. Yeah. Well, this has to steep for five hours, so you know. <laughs> the Star hours. Wars book requires you to like set aside a whole day to cook Basically. anything. Add in the ginger. Woohoo! I'd be surprised if there isn't like a bomb Harry Potter cookbook because they make spells, you know? You would think there would be. Spales? Spales. They make spales, you know? This is where the fun begins. I think if we had the boba balls, it probably would be pretty precise. Yeah. This like, looks much more like it than our last creation. Ooh, look at that. That's a cool color. Oh yeah, look at it, perfect. Nice. Ooh. Good oof or bad oof? Deciding? Good oof. Oh, it's good? Mm -hmm. What does it taste like? Like a bougie drink. It's like I went to some Fancy bar in LA. Oh, whoa. It's not what I was expecting. It's really good. Yeah. It's quite refreshing, mm -hmm. huh? Cool. Woohoo! Cheers. Cheers. And that's a wrap on this week's Justin with Justin. If you haven't yet, I'd so love it if you subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so you don't miss a single video. Like, comment the video, and I will see you very soon on the next Justin with Justin. Bye.